Is there any moments in the show, uh, as you know, an actor, as a writer, where you can kind of nudge somebody and be like, that was mine. That thing, that was all me. Is there any, anything that you really take pride in that you're like, oh, I came up with that little flourish, that little twist. Is there, you know? We give all the credit to Damon and Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, patently incorrect. But, uh, you know, I think this is a good question for Adam and Eddie because uh, I think they do an incredibly good job of kind of getting in certain, like little things in the show that are really, uh, I guess the thing, the thing for, for me uh, um, that I'm proudest of is Dronwa Jackson. And uh, being able to, uh, for the five people that noticed it, that aren't my wife or Holly there, um, uh, I loved it, you know? Yeah. I mean, to introduce them to the world. And Hurley's t-shirt that says, I love Shih Tzu's. Oh, yeah, that, that's my dog, Stuart. <laughs> you, you're beginning to see my contribution to the show. <laughs> it's an important one. I will say uh, ranks up there with Locke getting out of a wheelchair. <laughs> uh, for, for me, it's Lapidus being a Yankee fan. <laughs> That's all. Uh, again, with all the Red Sox talk, I needed equal time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the thing is, different writers have different affinities for different characters on the show. But the thing to keep in mind is, every single episode of Lost, all, you know, we've we've written over 120 of them now, is broken in a room with all of us, right. and that that is not somebody holding court. It happens exactly as I described. We're throwing ideas around. So someone might say, "What if this happened?" What about what we said we were going to do here? Here, I have a pitch. You know, it's, it, 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 it's such a collaborative effort that all the ideas sort of blend, you know, blend in, in, into each other. You know, I, I definitely, you know, remember very specifically Eddie and Adam pitching Hurley flying out of the jungle with the Dharma bus. And that was an idea that started with finding the Dharma bus 10 episodes earlier. And that set up the idea that Roger Linus was in the bus, which was going to be paid off in a Ben flashback when he gassed him. So the genesis of that idea basically cre created nine other ideas, but those nine other ideas m could have come from nine different writers. You know, We're, we try not to be too proprietary about sure. it. Sure, definitely. But there's moments where you're like, yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but it's at home. <laughs> <laughs> now, Liz, you, you worked on another like hugely, I think, uh, a big show where fans got really into it, Deadwood. And mm -hmm. so... Um, The, you know, both of these shows, they're very dense, you know, in their mythology and, uh, you know, and David Milch is a very larger than life kind of persona and, and <laughs> it seems like Damon Carlton have that same sort of, I mean, <laughs> not, not like, the, the, you know, they're, and like, what's the difference kind of in the writer's rooms of Oh, well, D Deadwood was a completely different experience. I mean, David works in such a way where you're writing for what you shoot later that day. Right. So your job as a writer on those shows is to constantly be giving him material because we have no material. Oh, wow. So it's 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 really an amazingly different experience. I mean, there were a couple, there were two writers on Deadwood for the two years that I was there, and there's not a room like this where every, you know everyone's voice is heard. It's a lot of David, and if you want to do a story on a show with David, you write the story and you write it and write it and write it until finally he reads it so many times he thinks he thought of it, and then we get to do it. <laughs> This is, uh, you know, this is an experience where we are in a room and, and we are together in, in a steel cage death match, you know, <laughs> for most of our lives. And it's great. And, and that's a very different experience. But I think the shows are similar in the sense that they, they're such a broad cast and there's so many different types of characters and it's a, it's a collection of people who are deeply, deeply flawed. And they are trying to find their way out of that. She's talking about the characters. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs>